Hi again, I'm Jeff and I want to talk about Microsoft Autopilot. I made this video after I did the same thing that you probably did. Searched for some information, found some pretty dry reading material, and some demo videos with the exciting footage that is the Windows out of the box experience. I also don't want to read while I'm trying to look at things, so I'll give you a quick rundown of Autopilot right here. Before we start with what Autopilot is, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not a replacement for computer imaging. Autopilot will not lay down your perfectly configured corporate image onto a new device. What Autopilot is, is a device management program similar to Apple's device enrollment program. There are some important prerequisites you need to have in place if you're even going to consider using Autopilot. And the first is that you're going to need to have Azure Active Directory Premium, P1 or P2. Now this is an important thing to note because most people have on-premise AD. If you want to mess with your IT admin, go into his office right now and tell him you want to move to Azure AD by the end of the week. The look on his face will be pretty funny. Second, you'll need a mobile device management service like Intune in order to use Autopilot. And lastly, the devices must have Windows 10 version 17.03 or newer pre-installed to start. With all that set, you'd order your shiny new hardware and receive a file with each system's hardware ID, you log on to Azure AD and upload that file to the Autopilot service, then create and assign a deployment profile. Once the device boots and connects to the internet, the Autopilot process will begin, enrolling into your MDM service and applying your policies and installing any apps. The short summary I'd give it is, think of it as a customized out-of-box experience where you can use your organization's branding, skip stuff like the Cortana setup and registration, and then automatically join your domain and enroll in your mobile device management service. Autopilot, combined with a service like Intune, lets you take the automation and control a little bit further with your mobile device management policies. So if you have all of these set up, then Autopilot might work for you. But the reality of it is, it's designed for drop shipping a device to a remote user, like at their home office, instead of sending it to IT to touch first. If you're looking for a solution for setting up new computers, you'll want to look for a computer imaging solution instead. Not only will it be useful for rolling out new hardware, but you can use it for ongoing maintenance and break fix and migrations and all that. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how Autopilot works. That's all I have for now. So good luck with your deployment projects. And as always, thank you for watching.